Hey, girl, I went to church today. Uh, the pastor of my church is the coolest guy ever, and like, no, ah. Oh, look, it's going through my head. Sorry. Coolest guy ever is probably not the best, uh, term. What the F for these masks, red flag. Um, greatest guy ever, nicest guy ever, etc. Um, and so, like, a student came to him at one point saying, hey, me and my girlfriend are like, we're, we're going much further than I know the, uh, Christianity believes you really should before you're married. We're not having sex, but we're getting up there. And, um, and I don't, I, I don't feel great about that. And so, uh, <laughs> the pastor is just like, all right, bud, here's the thing. Whenever you're, you're getting, you're getting in that mood, start talking about Jesus. And there's no greater mood killer for that sort of thing than saying you want to talk about Jesus right now. And this is great, dude. He's the best. Yeah, that's by Power Node. Um, yeah. I'm well aware we Christians... We've got some very poor representatives out there, but... Keep looking around. We've got some really good ones out there, too. Uh, I promise. A lot of us are good people. The whole point of the religion is being good people. And the ones that don't get that are unfortunately the ones that get the most press. Uh, anyways, not all religion is bad. Unitology is pretty bad. Just take a look at all these red flags I pointed out. Hey, look, there are the chapter names. Uh, in the scrolling by in the background. Um, what do we want to do? Let's get that this because that leads to three more, but then we'll keep a power node on hand as per policy. There's no greater romance killer than talking about your faith. That's, that is, uh, that's a, that's a philosophy for life. A variety of uh, <coughs> meditation aids. You look around and it's just a bunch of like, uh, uh, Playboy magazines. Yes, yeah, so these should help you with your meditation. Show me Playboy. No. Two tines intertwined. Altman really loves this marker. We echo this with doing that hurt, that thing that's hard to do with your hands. And I'm trying to do it right now and it's hurting my wrists. Ow. Maybe I just have crappy wrists. Uh, used in ceremonial gesture, greeting, and the opening to all ceremonies, large and small. Power node! Dead brick! I'm taking your power node and you can't stop me. You gave it up the moment you left it unguarded. It's your fault. No power node should be left alone. Isaac, you see the symbols too? Wait, what? The means to destroy us. Yes, I see the symbols. They're a threat to them. I know it. We have to work together. Work together? Who's them? When you need Titan? Stross. Work with Stross. That's... That's an effing optional area. That's awesome. Man, I love this game. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving it so far. Uh, reload, damage, capacity. Oh, 
All right. This feels like a boss fountain. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, the entire area is optional, but there's like a bunch of like there's actual content. Indoctrination into Overwatch. I feel like a lot of uh, gamers went through that a year or two ago. I don't even have Overwatch, and I love it. As long as you pay us 30 bucks. I can't believe I didn't realize these are all ex uh, usable. That's awesome. This is less awesome. I don't like this quite as much. What makes you think I have a problem? Stop doing the hand thing, it hurts. It's probably not good for your wrists either. Clen cleansing for fully vested members only. Red flag. Indoctrination is off limits. I'm supposed I suppose I'm okay with that. Take my own tour, thank you. Are these items? No, they're just lights. Sir. I don't want to mess with my corpses. Those are my corpses to defile, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, please get off. Thank you for attacking me one at a time. Gotta love the capacity on this thing. see that. I'm supposed to look at the stained glass window. Yeah, it's sand from Titan. Very 
impressive. Goodbye. Oh, good. The indoctrination room. As seen on TV. Oh, season in progress. Session in progress. Thought it said as seen on TV. Ref and red flag. Welcome to indoctrination. I would rather not be welcomed. Also, whenever a religion is super vague about activities that they're doing, that's like, that's also a red flag. Like, what do you do in X room? Oh, you, uh, you become part, you take your first step into unitology. No, but what do you do? Oh, you experience oneness. No, what do you do? It's a red flag. Oh, oh well. Also, do these things have like... Okay, no. The armrests look like you could get like locked into them. Red flag. Indoctrination test phase. Desire to socially belong high, unassertiveness low, which means assertive, gullibility low, red flag, tolerance for ambiguity. <laughs> okay, so I would be, I feel like I would be medium unassertiveness, desire to socially belong, I might be high, gullible low, tolerance for ambiguity, clearly very low, because I just gave a whole speech on that. Cultural disillusionment, mine might be a little bit low. Idealism, high. Susceptibility to trans-like states, states, low. Self-confidence, high. Mine would be low. No, shut up, I'm reading this guy's profile. The desire for spiritual meaning, that would be medium for me, low for him. Awareness of group influence on individuals, high. That I would also be high for me, I am aware. The subject is highly unlikely to stay, unaffili stay affiliated after a short period. Uh, he might not want to pay us money. We should invite him to go as far as he'd like, but do not book future earnings against him. What does book future earnings against him mean? Like, don't expect him to pay money? It's unclear. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Are you sorting through these people's files? Hey, guess what? I'm not- I don't have much tolerance for ambiguity. Excuse me. You don't need this, I do. Apparently, even though this is again an optional area, I think. Wait, no, that is the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah. That's always handy. Alright, so this way was optional. Yes. What room is this? Overwatch. Let's go check out Overwatch, huh? Wait, no, this just leads straight back around. And this got reset up. There's some caretaker in here? Are you serious? Sketchy. Anyways. Oh shoot, this might have backfired. Dang it. Duck, Isaac. He doesn't want to duck. I'd rather not. Oh, 
And the door's back to business. If your church has a room with all these screens in it, red flag. Ooh, new suit. Want that? Do do. Oh, with Skyward Sword is where you can sprint while you're in the vents. And it's not like full sprinting speed, but you do speed up a little bit. That's why, that's what I was thinking of. Alright. Excuse me, ma'am. Please stop. Why did you take my helmet off? Why do you have control over something like that? Because it was me, Austin. It was me, Isaac. It was you all along. And you were me. Because I had to teach myself a lesson that I would never, ever forget. Uh, I love that cutscene. I, I really like that. And if you die to that one, that one's like, that one's really creepy because Nicole like shoves it through your eye and then just like stands straight up and stares at you as you bleed out. It's really creepy. All right, does this lead back around? Yes, because there's creepy face guy. Okay, I might want to use the bathroom here. Because I think I remember where that room leads. Actually... Yes, I will. Alright. Basilica. Oh wait, no, this is not where I thought it would lead. Although I remember this room very much now. Actually, I don't remember it 100%. I remember the room itself, but I don't remember everything that happens in it. Infidels. Okay, yep, I remember this. Okay. New enemy type coming up, and I still don't know if I hate this enemy type or love it. I think I love the concepts, but I actually hate having to deal with them. Okay, yeah, I had to trigger that first. Data unlocked out. There's something in the church. It broke the door. Hang on. I'll try to override all the gates in the area. Hurry. There's something no, not there. all the gates. Just the one, please. Don't even remember what these things are called. Stalkers, maybe? But... Oh, I hate this. There's one. Oh, shoot. They're surrounding me. They're surrounding me. Don't like it. Their entire... Oh, no. The gates are opening. Stop it. 
their whole concept is jump scares. Because they just hide and then charge you. Now luckily if you get in a good position they're not that scary. Because they always scream as they start charging. Shoot. But uh, they're always very nerve-wracking because their very concept is hide from you until you're not paying attention. Unfortunately, these guys aren't the smartest examples of them. Although I'm about to die, so they're doing a fairly good job. No, just say what was so important, and don't complain about how uh, you're getting jammed. Don't do that. If something's really important, and you're starting to get jammed, just say it over and over again. Don't start complaining about how you're being jammed. Whew. Anyways. Okay, those guys aren't awful. I actually like... It's, it's an interesting design for a game that's usually just enemies charge at you. Um, but man, they're anxiety inducing. Got a little lucky there. That wasn't my best work. So that's why I have memories of that room, because it's the first time you meet those guys. Is that a power node? Power node! If you didn't stay close to your tour guide, you might have met the resident stalkers who like to attack and kill you by jump scaring you. This is where I came from? Yeah, this is where I gotta go. Funerary wing. That should be great in a game where the enemies are composed of corpses. Crypt access. Can't wait. Been there. Yeah, 
Yep, pay respect to the bodies of the dead. That's for sure. One at a time. Oh good, I'm out of med kits. I guess there was a store not too far back, huh? Now that I could circle back. Excuse me. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, it's upgrade. Ooh, Pulse Rifle gets a bonus. It's got the same helmet as the Riot uh, uniform, so that's cool. I forget what the classic... I think it's level 3, just like in... Uh, uh, Dead Space 1, but... I forget exactly what the... Uh, promotional armor is. This one's pretty red. I think it's actually pretty similar to the right gear, uh, except it's not based on previous completions of the game. But yeah, I've got like a police armband, I think. And then this might be the suit where, yeah, uh, because it's like a police uniform, Strauss and Isaac's face, who are wanted men on the station, will show up on his chest pad there, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and I don't think that happens in any other suits. Anyways, good upgrade.